It's been said that the best therapists have fur and four paws. And we, of course, are talking about dogs. Florida-based charity called Canines for Warriors is doing its part by pairing up shelter dogs with military veterans. Mike Gooding introduces us to one local Army veteran and his four-legged best friend, Duncan. We humans like to think that we're the ones saving the dogs' lives when, in fact, often it's the other way around. 100% guaranteed. Just ask retired Sergeant First Class Everett Sloan, who spent 31 years in the Army as a drill sergeant. I've been diagnosed with PTSD uh, when I returned from Iraq in 06. And then things got worse. Everett lost his wife to cancer, and then his mother died. I didn't know what I was going to do with myself, which direction I was going to take, where I was going to go until I stumbled across this here. This is Canines for Warriors, a Florida-based nonprofit organization dedicated to ending veteran suicide. They do it by rescuing and training shelter dogs to be paired as service dogs for vets with service-connected post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury, and military sexual trauma. They've served over 600 warriors and rescued 1,100 dogs since the organization was founded in 2011. In this case, they paired Everett up with a yellow lab mix, Duncan or Mr. D, and the rest is history. It was, it was traumatizing, but the dog put me through it. It was hurt, more so hurtful with my wife than it was with my mom, but with the dog, it was a lot easier to get through. But I couldn't have done it without him because I didn't know which direction I was going with my life. I to be honest with you. If you're a service-connected disabled veteran with military service after September 11, 2001, then you're eligible to apply. We have a link on our website, 13newsnow.com. Look under links in the news. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.